Hey guys, this is me, Rusty78609. Good Saturday morning to you. It's a warm Saturday morning here in Central Texas. I know you guys up north are probably getting some cold weather, but we don't get any here in Central Texas, and that's why I'm here. <clears throat> what else is going on in the world? Hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. The time is 6.27 a.m. Right now in Burnett it's 72 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 88 and a low of 68. Have a nice day. You too. Tomorrow you turn your clocks back one hour. Spring forward, fall back. I don't know why we continue to do that, but we do. Hey Google, tell us a joke. This might make you laugh. A woman once said she recognized me from the vegetarian club, but I'd never met her before. There's something in there, but I just... <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, let me think. Hey, Google. Oh, you already told us. Never mind. Cancel. My apologies. No. Nope. I don't understand. You don't understand. You ought to be me. Anyway, let me go back here. I got a lot of comments, which is good. I love comments. Because sometimes I get an idea on a video, and that is extremely helpful. Because as if, whenever you do a YouTube channel, the hardest thing is coming up with video ideas. <clears throat> no kidding. Okay, here we go. Bill S. I may have done this one yesterday. Maybe I didn't. RV home base thing. I'm trying to sell my lot in Massachusetts. I wish I could consider buying that lot now, but down the road it will have to be. That thought must wait. Nice spot there, Rusty. My Colorado darling and I could enjoy the winter there. I'm telling you, you could because it's not bad. It would solve a few decisions I have to make. I hate snow. Well, you know, I've, I've only been in one place in my life where it snowed regularly and that was in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia many years, 1994-95 and <clears throat> I really didn't like it either. Now this is Bill S. again. He says he always liked that shirt. I believe that's my blue fishing shirt. I got that at uh, Bells in Miami, Florida. Cajun says it's about home base. Well whatever. It's something I think maybe in French. Happiness of life, joy of living. Okay, thank you, Cajun. Uh, installing an RV vent. Do the job yourself. Says you are not crippled. Uh, yeah, you're right. I, I could do it, but I'm not. <laughs> Why am I not going to do it? Well, because, man. I mean, yeah, I've thought about it. And, you know, the getting up there on the roof wouldn't be a problem. Getting down is going to be a problem. I just don't want to fool with it. And, you know, for $200, why take a chance? 50 people made that point. Uh, it says, this is Patricia, it says, Rusty, be careful about information you give out. My sister-in-law, I well, met a guy through his YouTube channel, and he had a fan show up on his porch one day. It really scared him because he thought he had been careful about his location. You know, uh, you know some, some guys are really careful about their location. You know, there's a guy that I follow every now and then. His name is Hobo Traveler. Hell, he, he shows his house in Indiana. I mean, you know, it, again, it's it's up to the individual. If you're a little insecure, and then don't do it. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. I, I try to protect it. I mean, I don't publish my physical address in every video, and that's the way that is. Oh, which reminds me, speaking of every video, uh, for, the, for you guys that uh, use the Amazon link, thank you very much. I did notice that this morning. Somebody used it. And uh, for those of you that don't, don't know anything about it, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I'll get my little ad in here. Uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and for those of you that use the link in the description to Amazon and buy anything, then I get a small commission, and it does help. It adds up, and it costs you nothing, so it's a win-win if you choose to use it. This is Gavin on the home base. says, Hi, Rusty. I totally agree about what is behind you, a large corporation on several thousand acres around me and behind me. I have a few neighbors, but not many, and no one is behind me for at least three miles. The little patch I bought near the coast is the same way. Yeah, if you get a piece of property that backs up to a either a, some state or national property or maybe a, 
<clears throat> game preserve or ranch, you know, that's that's a pretty good deal because in real estate, it's location, location, location. This is RB Home Base again, Gavin. Hi, Rusty. I'm a poor old southern boy, but I'm a poor old southern boy too, but land is, but land with some kind of municipal water access and power availability going for that much in Texas nowadays? Yeah, it is. What am I missing on this? Are you experiencing upward population shift that is driving prices up? Yeah, I live about 80 miles northwest of Austin, Texas, and Austin is growing like crazy. And, uh, and, and these guys can telecommute. They can work from their homes. And so they're buying property up here, and they got the money to buy it and driving the prices up. Mark, uh, RV home base, very, very enjoyable drive. Rusty, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do a driving video every day, or, or not every day, but m most days. Uh, Laser Racer 6 on RV Home Base. If I lived in the States, I would be there like a shot. Yeah, a lot of other countries don't have this privilege, I have to admit. <clears throat> RV Home Base, M MCSE 9073 Rue. Do they allow golf carts or Kawasaki mules to be driven around there? Yeah, they do. They drive around here all the time. Now, as far as... It's, it's against the law. You know, it has to be a street legal vehicle to be on the streets. But, you know, this area is uh, out in the rural area. And so, yeah, a lot of people do it. As long as they're not noisy and running up and down people's driveways, I don't care. Rick, RV home base, watch the price go up when his phone starts ringing off the hook. Yeah, that's a fact. That, this guy's a, he's been doing this for years. And, uh, yeah, this is how he makes his money. RV home base, Angela, that was... That was nasty to say. That was, and those almonds are sounding good again. You extend your lot. I'm not going to buy it. Keep privacy, otherwise, goodbye privacy and hello hard rock steelhead. What about snakes? We don't have snakes around here. Uh, no, yeah, you know, I, I did say some things in that video. Probably wasn't nice, but yeah, that's just the way I talk, guys. I mean, I, that's me. Uh, RV home base, Donna. This base, this base, this video was very interesting. Nice to see your surroundings in that building and zoning in some areas are flexible. Yeah, they are. I wonder how building and zoning would be. Well, we're out in the county, so you know, you're not really uh, worried about all that. The only thing you're worried about is a uh, property owners association. It says I live in, Donna says she lives in South Florida. Building and zoning flexibility does not exist. Wish I could own those parcels. Well, you just come up with enough money and you got them. RV home base, Angela, land contracts can be dangerous to the renters, finance elsewhere, or get ready for a new J.R. Ewing Dallas style. Stop eating rusty. Why would I want to stop eating, Angela? I'm, I'm 164 pounds. I'm right at my target weight. RV home base, Bill K. Sherwood Shores has an opulent sh sound to it. It does, but it ain't. Angela... Uh, RV home base dark video showing the lots stop selling the lots and get in a bowling league more people contact you're lonely I'm not lonely Angela god damn I've been alone I've been living alone for 30 plus years but uh, bowling I don't I, you think I'd want to you, well, next thing you let me going to church RV home base Lillian Rusty got mad at the owner and gives his phone number out laugh out loud just kidding no I didn't get mad at him uh, he doesn't call back though. He's not. He's not very aggressive. Adlisk, uh comment call. Just got back from an overnight to the Grand Canyon. Well, good for you. That is a beautiful place. Thanks for the tip on the senior pass. Crater Lake last month and Grand Canyon this month, and the pass has already paid for itself twice over. It is amazing. I tell you, that is the greatest deal since fried chicken. The senior pass. If you don't have one and you're a senior, get one. RV home base at Lydian, but Elmer, this is why we love him, and I try sharing some of me too. So do you. Be true to yourself, I say. Me too. Joyce RVing needs versus wants. The whole world would be so much better without any TVs, just my opinion. I enjoy your driving videos, just something to relax with as we go for a drive. Thanks for taking me along. Joyce, well, you're welcome. David, 32937, RV home base. Does your son work too far for him to set up his home base on your lot? Yeah, he does. He works, it's about 100 miles away. <clears throat> he couldn't drive it. Well, he could, but he's not going to. 
and I don't, uh, he's got his own life. I don't want him around here. He doesn't want to be around me all the time. Beauregard, RV home base, cool that you are protected from the hurricanes out there in the hill country. That, yeah, we are. Uh, we usually get some rain and occasionally if we get a bad hurricane along the Gulf, sometimes it spins off tornadoes up here. Avalisk, uh, RV home base, if I were to buy those two lots, I'd pay cash if he'd take it, but I'm looking for a place to set up a private shooting range and a good sized dog run for my terrible ter terrier and a future pack of rescue poodles. Do you think my barking dogs and my arsenal of centerfire mind changers would be welcome? No, I don't. <laughs> Not here it wouldn't. No, this is a quiet area, man. Uh, we're, in my area it is anyway. Uh, Juanita, RV home base, what about a tiny home? Are there any, are there building restrictions? Uh, there, there's no real building restrictions other than what's in the uh, property owner association uh, requirements and, and they say they say you're supposed to have a 500 square foot home but they the property owners association is not active so uh, you, people have done pretty much what they want to do for the last 20 years Brenda comment call thank you for your ladder and wind story I too had to use tire on back to get down now no chances at 62 years yeah why take chances you know that, that was you know and I, I'm one of the ones that, you know, tell you not to do it, and I'm one of the ones that will go do it. Joyce, comment call. Possible video series would be to drive through RV parks and areas not too far from where you live. A bird's eye view is so much better coming from someone with 30 years RV experience than looking at professional websites, especially with comments about the amenities, costs, proximity to activities, and your experienced observations, kind of like a restaurant critic, but an RV park critic, just a thought. Yeah, I could do that, but I could call ahead and find out what they get and then drive through. But there, there's several around here, actually, because in the, in the wintertime, we get a lot of snowbirds. Now, there's one near me about a mile and a half away called uh, Heart of Texas Lake Resort. And they get a lot of people there, and I think by the month, it's around $400 a month. You'd have to call them and check or go to their website, <clears throat> Heart of Texas Lake Resort. Uh, this is RV Home Base. t -Nectin, he's got two. Rusty, why are you selling these lots and how much do you want for them? Discount for buying both? I'm not selling them. I I'm not selling either one of them. That old cow is really slow. Yeah, she does. She drives really slow and I don't know why. If you ever get behind her on the highway, you're just... Anyway, she drives about 35 on the highway. I'm telling you, the lady, like, but you know, that's, that, that, I'm not criticizing, okay? Uh, hey, yeah, Tinek Nib, I'm not selling the lots. You have to call the number that I gave you on the sign. <clears throat> Julia, Julia, this is on comment call. Hi, Rusty. Congrats on the new trailer. Thought you would like this new camper box concept, which can fit in a small sports utility vehicle that comes from Europe, I believe. Cheers from Argentina. Julia, see the link below. Okay, Julia from Argentina. Hi, Julia from Argentina. Uh, she's left us a link to a product that she thinks we might enjoy, so let's take a look at it. Heart of Jesus, patio steps. Thank you. God bless you. Well, you're welcome. RV home base, America first. How rude and crude, eating and talking. Well, I do it all the time, babe, so get used to it or find you another channel. RV Home Base, Adopt a Cat 28. Rusty, really nice that you gave us a tour of your area. I hope it stays peaceful for you. I hate any noise around me, especially loud music of any kind. Well, you know, I, I it bothers me because it's just ill manners. You know, it's just not I, I, something I wouldn't do and never did. Tanek Nev, new coachman. Why do Americans call a single bed a twin? It's only a twin if there are two of them. Otherwise, it's a single. I don't know either. I really don't know. Scotty's got one, two in a row here on comment call. Cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Scotty says, do you like to exercise? Yes, I do, Scotty. It's become part of my life. I, I walk every day and I stretch it twice a day. I may walk twice a day. Comment call, Will Hunt, stay off the ladder. My brother just fell and got blood clot in his forearm. Keep off. I hear you. And those things can happen. It just takes one stupid mistake. RV home base. Uh, Will, the lot would be perfect for a 
prison halfway house? Laugh out loud. I got a dark sense of humor, but I may have to pay you to walk Abraham. All dogs and animals are ex-cons will leave you alone unless dog is stupid. Uh, I guess. Uh, rather be fishing or be home base. Uh, please don't encourage people to move to Central Texas. 150 days, people a day are moving to Austin. It's scary. Yeah, I, I almost I agree with you. You know, I, may, I probably shouldn't. No, it is. Uh, people are bailing out of California like crazy, and uh, they're coming to Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. Sure are. This is Tom Thomas on installing an RV vent. Rusty, when I removed the vent line frame on the ceiling from the inside, I was pleasantly surprised the two power wires already there. We have a 2015 Coachman Viking 16B, which is basically the same trailer as yours. I was told the roofs are manufactured with power wiring so makers can install upgrade like vent fans. They use the same roof system on several different 16-foot Coachman travel. Hope you also have the wiring already there. Well, I don't. <clears throat> I, I pulled the vent out and looked. The, the wiring is not there, but there is a light within six inches of that. You just have to remove some insulation or move it around to get to the wires, and I'm not going to do it. Anyway, we've got four more, and we'll call it a day. Scotty's got three of them. All right, Scotty, get it. Cool RV home base talk. Nice RV home base talk. Cool RV talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. This is the last one, Teresa. Rusty78609, are you a Trump supporter? Actually, I'm, I'm no supporter of any politician at all, okay? Uh, when, when the election came around for president, I was, more, I was more in line with the Trump agenda than I was the Clinton or anyone else agenda. But as far as being politically involved, I'm not because I know it's a waste of energy and time. And the reason I say that is, is we live in a corporatocracy, whatever you want to call it, a country run by corporations. Some people call it fascism. But there's no sense in me being concerned, I mean, or anyone else for that matter. And why? I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to vote. I'm just going to tell you that your voting does, doesn't do anything, okay? Uh, it's just a popularity contest. Uh, corporations rule because they put money in the game. If you're not putting money in the game, in other words, making large donations, you're not, you're not having any impact. You know, they're selecting who you vote for, and that's who's they? Money. And that can be individuals or it can be corporations. Or it can be political action committees, PACs. You know, it can be a lot of different things, you know, but uh, no, I'm just not into politics, and I feel I don't feel sorry for. Her, but for those people that are really upset by political events that have that have an income of less than a hundred thousand dollars a year, uh, they're they're just driving themselves crazy for no reason. I mean, if you're not putting skin in the game, uh, it, it's not going to happen. I mean, I remember I, I went to Austin, Texas, and met with a a, a state senator who I knew from a little town I grew up in, uh, he became a state senator in Texas, and uh, I used to call him by his first name, and I went into his office in Austin <clears throat> at the Capitol, and I said, hey, called him by his first name, and he turned and he said, my name is Senator, blah, blah, blah. He let me know up front, and anyway, uh, I went on to tell him what I was thinking about, and he told me, he said, man, he said, how much, you, how much money are you put, putting up? And he got right to the point. How much money are you putting in my coffer? How much of a contribution are you making? I said, none. He said, can't hear you. And that's the way that goes. So anyway, yeah, don't let it drive you crazy, politics. And, and, you, know, and you know, just don't get into the, the talking head agenda. And remember that, you know, life is to be enjoyed. Okay, not to be frustrated and driven crazy by the talking heads. So what else? It's a beautiful day. I can't see it yet because the sun's not up. And tomorrow it'll be actually an hour earlier, so it'll be like 5.15, you know. Uh, <laughs> shit. I'll be getting up before I go to bed. Uh, anyway, uh, what else? Anyway, thumbs up, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA Made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts of water a day is good for you. It will help you avoid gout, 
kidney stones, and it'll help you lose weight. <clears throat> Knock on wood, I do not have a weight problem. I weighed this morning, I weighed 164.6. Now, why do I weigh? Because I want to. I like to, I like to know where I am, and uh, that's the way I am, okay? And uh, 165 is my target weight. I'm, I'm six foot two. And I'm right at it. So that's where I want to be because I feel good there. I feel really good. I feel active. You know what I mean? And uh, so what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose. Deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out through your mouth. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. And lowering your blood pressure is really good for you because that makes it a little easier for your heart. And heart disease is the number one killer in the whole wide world. Trust me on that or check it out. What else is going on? Uh, stretch. Take your arms and just stretch, man. Do 10 or so of these in the morning, 10 at noon, you know, 10 at night. You know, for you, you know, then stretch here, you know, do this, out and in. You know, swing your arms, you know, walk. You know, you don't have to jog. Just walk. Just a nice rapid or leisurely or just a step above leisurely walk for 30 to minutes to an hour is just super and I do that one or two times a day does that mean anything that I do it no no doesn't help you a bit so having said that guys from Central Texas enjoy your weekend and we'll talk again later on today I'll take a little drive and we'll talk about something okay anyway guys adios bye bye enjoy your Saturday bye